Hey, thanks for checking out another review by Passing Through Outdoors. Uh, I'm taking a look at the Hunt Ball Elite Box. Today is June 6th or 7th, and we just got this box in today. This is actually the May box. So, the box is huge. I'm hoping for lots of good stuff in it. Um, like I said, we're well a week into June by the time we're getting the May box. I'm not sure what the heck's going on. I've reached out to them. Um, getting responses through emails has been hard. Um, then when they did respond, I got, you know, I seen on their Facebook page, they were saying that they were expanding. And then also, um, the owner, when she emailed me back, she said that they were out of town and doing a lot of stuff. So... <clears throat> Not 100% sure what's going on with that. So hopefully this box has lots of stuff in it. Alright, so we'll start. Hunt Ball Elite, May 2018, $246 box value. Concealment and Transportation 2 is uh, what this one is. So we got the Apex Gear. No, this is the uh, Bone Collector Apex Gear Attitude Bow Stabilizer, $27. Um, this is a small bow stabilizer there. The Attitude Stabilizer is engineered for performance hunting bows. Its innovative technical wave design enhances vibration dampening ability and its dampening echo chamber helps to eliminate and dissipate bow vibration and noise. <clears throat> so it's uh, 4.8 inches long, weighs 4 ounces. Um, like I said, there's that. Oh, uh, what else we got in there? Oh! If you watched my regular box or a couple months ago, looks like we got another Wicked Saw. That's my third one. Um, really, is it, that's the second highest valued thing in this box as well. So that's kind of... They got it at $40. The Wicked Tough Bone Saw and Utility Saw. So that's three of them I got. That was actually the high priced item in last month's box. <laughs> Well, in May's box for the regular, and then we also got it in here, so <clears throat> not happy about that. This is Firefield Tactical Flashlight T300. $24 uh, flashlight. Compact enough to be carried anywhere, lightweight enough to be securely weapons mounted, and bright enough to identify your surroundings with ease. This is one of the brightest flashlights for its size. Its shockproof frame and non-slip grip also provides superior reliability and inclement weather conditions. <clears throat> so there's that. Alright, let's see. And then uh, Commander Shirt, Bullet T. Uh, represent a legend legendary brand with this Commander Shirt. Commander Pair items are created with design and comfort in mind. Um... Exclusive designs, including the Commander Bullet T, make their debut here. One ought to be available to non-Hunt Vault members until later. Um, so it's a $20 shirt. So, on the front, it's got a deer. And then on the back... That's a deer made out of bullets. <clears throat> See if they sent the right size. Yeah, I think I'll have to update my size. <clears throat> so they got that at $20. Um, Duck Commander cut them call lanyard. So, you got yourself a neck lanyard here to hang all your calls. This lanyard allows you to put your calls where they are most convenient. Simply unsnap the swivel and place the call where you want. Each swivel is complemented by a double loop drop so you do not lose pieces of your calls. Includes neoprene upper 
which allows your call arsenal to sit comfortably around your neck. So like I said, $30 for that. That's actually pretty nice. I like that one. Uh, what we got here? Camo Systems Premium Ultra Light Net. So, just a bag of camouflage netting. Set up an effective, effective blind anywhere with the camouflage and lightweight durability of this foliage-like netting. As an element in a ground blind or tree stand concealment. The perforated material completely masks outlines. A waterproof polyurethane coating protects against UV rot and mildew. Um, so I might actually put that around one of my tree stands or something. I'll have to check it out. Um, like I said, it's just some camouflage netting. You wrap around things. And then Drake Waterfowl Blind Bag 2.0. Tree stand pattern. Hunt Vault exclusive. Uh, this is $80. So, you got yourself a blind bag here. It's supposed to have a bunch of pockets inside. Let's see. You can strap something on top there. So, inside, you got lots of compartments. Um, three different compartments is zip there. This whole thing looks like it's waterproof. You can open it up completely. And then there's more pockets inside of there. So, tons of pockets inside this thing. Um, mossy oak tree stand. That's $80. The blind bag 2.0 is loaded with pockets and features for organizing your gear so you can find items quickly. No matter where your pursuits take you. The main storage compartment is protected by two liners constructed with a seam welded vinyl internal liner overload with vinyl organizer. Extra steps have been taken in creating a waterproof compartment. It features thermos, jacket sleeve, adjustable gun case loops, and more. So that's pretty neat. I like that. Um, so I'm up in the air still about Hunt Vault. Um, definitely like their Elite boxes. Always liked them until recently. You know, this showing up a week into the next month. Um, I actually had stuff that I ordered with mine for Father's Day that I'm pretty sure is not going to get here until July now. So that kind of upsets me. You know, it started out we were getting them at, you know, around the 20th, 21st. And then it's just gotten later and later and later. If I don't get this next box at the end of this month, I'm actually canceling. I'm just tired of waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it, then a shipping notification shows up, and then it still ain't here for two weeks And after that shipping notification. So, um, I got I did get an email from them saying they're going to send another item out in place of the, the Wicked Saw to people that are getting the Elite and the regular box because they sent it twice, which I'm pretty sure that's the third time I've gotten that saw. Um, so I'm not 100% sure, but um, I'll have to go back through look at some videos, but I, I know I've got another one of them wicked saws and it came in a box And I thought it came in a Humboldt box, so um, That that's it for the May box. Like I said, I wish I had more answers for people I've had people messaging me asking me questions um, What's going on with Hunt Vault? Why are these boxes showing up so late? I don't know um, I've gotten here and there answers, but and just following their Facebook page. That's it. So um Check them out if you like them. Like I said, it's you just never know when you're going to get your box right now. It's, it's up in the air. So uh, thanks for checking out Pass Through Outdoors. Y'all have a good one.